Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to install the stair runner. Why? Because I fell down the stairs. I'm still recovering. So if you have been following along my YouTube and my Instagram, you'll know that I flipped my stairs six months ago and changed them to hardwood. Now with that being said, the polyurethane that I used for the top coat is super smooth and slippery. Great for a table, not so great for stairs. So that's why now six months later I have fallen and I'm going to get a stair runner on those stairs so that that doesn't happen again. I've also linked the DIY stairs below and I was able to fully flip these stairs for a thousand bucks. So stay with me today and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I install the stair runner to be permanent and safe. In order to complete this project, you're going to need carpet tape, scissors, staples, your staple gun, painter's tape, measuring tape, and of course your runner. So the reason for the painter's tape is you're gonna to wanna to find the center of your stairs. Your runner to go all the way down the middle. Easy tip is to put some painter's tape on the outside of where your runner will be and then it'll make sure that it's completely centered. So this part's really simple. You just take the width of your stairs and subtract the width of your stair runner. Whatever you're left with, you divide that into two. So I had four inches on either side of my stair runner that I marked off with my tape. Once that's done, you're gonna take your double-sided carpet tape and in between where you have put your painter's tape, that's where you're gonna lay down the carpet tape. I really didn't need to use that much, so just a strip or two per tread. It sticks really easily and you don't have to overdo it. So every time you're using a power tool, make sure you prep it while it's unplugged. The staple guns are super easy to use and they load the staples just like any other office stapler. Then once you're ready to go, you plug it in, press the button and staple in the stair runner. Okay, be careful with this part because if you slip on that rug, the whole point is defeated and you're going right back down the stairs. So now that all of your prep work is done, go ahead and remove all of the second layers of the double-sided carpet tape. Double check that your four inches is marked on the backer because this is the really important part. Make sure that it is aligned exactly in the center at the beginning. You're going to avoid any mess ups further down the stairs. You hold the stair mat up off of the sticky tape until the corner where the tread and the backing meet and just sort of jam that in there so that it, it's nice and tight to the back of the stairs and then pull it across the stair tread. Does that make sense? and realistically it could probably hold the entire thing forever but the staple gun does ensure that it's not going to eventually come off so go ahead and staple off and then repeat all the way down the stairs So when you're doing your stair runner around the nosing of your stairs, if you do have the little lift there, just push it up and under and staple upwards and then pull it back on the backer. If you have a landing, it's really not any harder to install. Just make sure you go really slow and pull it fully flat down onto the carpet tape. To finish it off at the bottom, all I did was cut about an inch too long, folded it underneath, and made sure there was a double-sided carpet tape on the bottom near the floor so that I could hold it while I stapled it to it. And there you have it, guys. A week later, I'm healing up fairly good. My back's a little bit sore, but now the stairs are safe and nobody else is going to fall down them. Nobody else is going to fall down them.